What's up, it's the Coaster Craze, and I just wanted to record a quick impromptu analysis of Kings and Minions now announced 2022 editions, which is basically the retheming of the Safari Village area to Jungle Expedition with the new headliner coaster, Tumbili, I think it is. Tumbili, Tumbili, not exactly sure, but it's Swahili for monkey. And there's a whole cool storyline of the whole area where it's basically this like scientist. He's convinced that these uh, animal gods are kind of possessing the bodies of the natives and he gets possessed by one, which is a monkey, which is, you know, the theme of the ride uh, of Tumbili. And um, there's this whole cool like storyline there, which I think is really awesome. I don't know how much it'll be reflected in the actual area and the ride because Kings of Man often does these cool storylines, but then they're not actually like so much theming to it. But the ruins around the Tumbili ride look really cool. It's going to be SNS Free Spin. We've known this. It's a smaller model where only so far it's gone to eventually in Iowa as Dragon Slayer. And so that is cool that it's going to be like a different layout than most of us have experienced at the Six Flags parks. It is unfortunate, of course, that it's going to be shorter and smaller and probably won't be as good because, you know, it's Kings of Maine is a pretty large park. But remember, it's replacing the Crypt, which although was a really cool flat ride, this is probably going to be a step up, in my opinion. And I think there's some cool themes to boot with all those ruins, like I mentioned before. And the area looks like it'll get a nice, needed retheme because it's gone through all this turmoil in terms of going back and forth, what it's themed to. And there's still going to be a lot of stuff in flux. For example, there's no volcano replacement yet, which I'm excited whenever that comes. I hope it's something good. And of course, Avalanche is next door, and it seems like that's not getting a retheming. But there's also rides like Backlot Stone Coaster, Flight of Fear, I threw a five that have completely different themes that don't go with it. And I think maybe there will be like a whole area retheme where all the different rides are rethemed to fit the jungle expedition in the future. But for now, it seems like this is just the case where it's just going to be Tumbili and um, Outer Hanks is getting rethemed to a uh, base camp, which is basically the food place. Not sure what's going to be, but there's going to be a head chef there. And Kings of Man has some of my favorite food of any theme park I've ever been to. So I have utter faith that's going to be fantastic, whatever they get. Hopefully it actually fits the section. It'd be so sick to have African food at the park. Probably not going to happen, but that would be awesome. And then there's also going to be like a new retail store that's themed. The area looks great. I think they're going to do a really good job with it because Kings of Mina has been upping the theming in their park a lot recently. Cedar Fair in general has. And overall, I think this is a really solid addition. A coaster replacing a flat ride is great. It'll bring the park's coaster count up one. The park doesn't have much good coasters after their big top two. And I do enjoy these free spins, so it's probably going to be a top five ride in the park, I imagine, or at least in the top six, seven. It's a solid supporting coaster, especially if that replacement for Volcano is something super strong. So overall, I think this is really good. I'm giving you a big thumbs up. Might be the only new ride in the whole Cedar Fair chain for 2022. So, you know, why not? And it gives another reason to come back to Kings Dominion, which is a park that I absolutely love. So I'm excited to see what's in store. I know there are some rumors that they're going to continue announcing some changes to the whole area as it goes to the spring opening date, which by the way, love that they're pushing for spring 2022 opening. Hopefully that stays true and they don't get too delayed. But yeah, that would be really awesome if they could start changing the other rides themes around. I would I'll definitely miss some of them, like I threw a five. I love the theme there, same with Backlot. But I'm curious what they'll do. It's gonna be very interesting. I bet over the next coming years, they're gonna try to integrate that section, which is something we've been asking for for so long, because it's kind of a joke how, you know, they have all these different things like aliens, race cars, movie stunts, actually like, you know, jungle expedition. And they also have like avalanche bobsleds, like Olympic. It's all over the place. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Overall positive. I know this was kind of unscripted all over the place, but I hope you enjoyed this. Definitely let me know your comments, your thoughts on it down in the section, comment section down below. I think I mix up a few words there, but it's all good. You all know what I mean. So yeah, fire away on those comments. Give this a like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching. Tons more coaster analyses coming soon, as well as reviews, tons of vlogs from the parks I've been to. Yeah, this is the Coaster Grace signing off. Goodbye.